Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor and Damien, <laughs> my sidekick. And we're over here at a brand new spanking community in the Kesho Commons Village called Quail Cove by KB Homes. They just opened up last week. They released six lots and have already, no, they released 12, 12 lots, lots and sold six already. That's pretty Good crazy. Week. And they have five spec homes to choose from and seven lots available that you can build from ground up with four different models. And they have all of them modeled, which is pretty cool. A lot of builders don't model all their floor plans. So right. that's pretty awesome that they have that as well. So we're gonna take a look at the plan 1920, which is 1920 square feet, all three story homes with three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, two car garage, base price starting at 489,990 and they have three different elevation types and elevation means the different roof lines the different architectural details as well as aesthetics of the home Whew. yeah a lot <laughs> mouthful all right so we're gonna take a look um, this is not a gated community they have 144 lots the monthly HOA for Quail Cove is $95 Summerlin HOA is 60 and the SIDS is $236 every six months. I like this little courtyard. I think it's very nice, right? Yeah. Okay, so all of them, because it's three stories, you walk in and you either have an option for a room or a den, and they have this modeled with a den. If you do have a room down here, I do believe she said that it would be a bathroom attached with it yes. right but right now they have it showcased as a den so this one would be technically three bedrooms and a den then you have access to the garage and also you have a coat closet now the thing with this community it's very similar setup to ascent in the red point square village um, except for these are detached single family homes is that you're going to have front living and then the back is your garage or your garage is your front um, that's the common trend right now in these three-story communities, and you're not going to have any yard. Okay. So as you walk up, before we take a peek there, love this tile work that they did in this half bath. Very pretty. And looks like this isn't luxury vinyl. It's not engineered hardwood either. I wonder what kind of flooring that is. All right, let's see. It's take. like a composite wood or something. Yeah. Ooh, I actually like this one. Yeah, that's pretty bright. Yeah, but I like the layout better, I think. They're like in sections too. Yeah, I mean, all of them are pretty nice. So let's start in the kitchen, right? Oh, the laundry is on this floor right here. Interesting. And then a pantry, which is a, still a decent sized pantry. I like how all of them have nice pantries. I like, um, this has the microwave and the oven, and then the cooktop with a range hood. So when you buy new construction, you have the option of a move in ready home with all design options picked for you, or you can build from ground up. And when you build from ground up, you have structural options to select as well as other options. So in your kitchen, you're going to have the appliance package, right? You're going to pick different appliance packages. So this to me is telling me that with the cooktop and the range hood and then with the built in microwave and oven, that's a different appliance package. Now, refrigerators, washers and dryers do not come typically unless you want to spend extra money on that. After that, then you want to pick your cabinets. Obviously, this is an upgraded cabinet. However, they don't have soft clothes. For resale purposes, if you don't choose soft clothes, then, you know, a lot of people like soft clothes cabinets. Another option is adding tile up your backsplash, as well as picking your countertops, either quartz, granite, or whatever type of stone they have to offer. And another upgraded option is the, what type of sink you want. This is a single basin sink. What color hardware do you want? Do you want it stainless steel? Do you want it matte black? Do you want it brushed nickel? Or do you want it rose gold or whatever? Whew, 
it's a lot. And it starts adding up, folks, let me tell you. Then you have an electrical package to choose if you want pendants, if you want pre-wiring in all the bedrooms, if you want extra can lights in all the rooms. Everything starts adding up. And last but not least, your flooring. Mm -hmm. Builders will put carpeting throughout the house with the exception of the wet areas like your kitchen, bathrooms, and laundry room. I highly recommend putting the flooring in first because it's not cheaper if you buy the cheap carpeting what they provide and then do it yourself. It's not. Trust me, we've been through it. I would spend the extra money on the car flooring. I would make sure that there's hard surfaces everywhere and if you had to go carpet, only keep it in the bedrooms because homes that have carpet do not sell as fast as homes that don't have carpet, right. right? Homes that have carpet don't sell as fast as homes that don't have carpet. So this is pretty cool. And I like that all of these floor plans have a nice balcony. As I mentioned, or I don't know if you guys know, I did a video recently on all three-story homes in Summerlin. However, of course, this wasn't completed, so I didn't have this on my video. But in the Kestrel Commons Village or in the Kestrel Village, either village or district, they're interchangeable. The common trend is three-story homes. So straight ahead is Viero by Woodside Homes, all three-story homes. Across the street from that is Pulte Blacktail, all three-story homes. And then on the corner, you have Crested Canyon, which offers two and three-story floor plans. Right actually across the street is gonna be Ravencrest by Toll Brothers, which is actually going to be townhomes that are three and four stories. So because of where this community is located, and you can kind of see some strip views over there, is they want to capitalize on the beautiful mountain views and city views. That's why they're building up. And as you get closer to the urban core, you're going to see a lot of these type of homes, like townhomes and um, three-story type homes, because it's more urban-y condensed, right? Mm -hmm. It's fit more be, people in. walking and yeah. paths and things. Exactly. There will be walking paths and parks and all that good stuff. So on the third floor, like all the others, there is all the bedrooms. So let's take a pan. Cool. Let's go this way. nice size closet and the double vanities I like this light wood cabinets they just used what's called a Petrofina which is a lower grade quartz and they also use that as the shower insert so they didn't spend any upgrades remodeling um, the bathrooms they're just showing you what you get you know pretty much right Okay, so, oh, that's a good size linen closet. And then you have two more bathrooms or bedrooms. Let's take a peek at this one. I mean, they're relatively small, probably 10 by 10. And then you also have, see, they didn't put the double vanity, but I bet you, you could add a double vanity here and that would be an upgraded structural option. They just included the basic tub shower insert which is a Petrofina as well, and the Petrofina countertops. And then the last bedroom. And the homes in the Kestrel Commons Village tend to be more affordable than anywhere else in Summerlin because it's for multifamilies or, you know, first time home buyers or people that don't want to spend 800 plus thousand on a Summerlin home, but want to have the Summerlin amenities. Um, and that's why they designed this whole Kestrel district. So to summarize, we're over here at Quail Cove by KB Homes, taking a tour of the plan 1920, which has 1920 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and a two car garage. Base price starting at 489,990. And if you're interested in this community, the most important advice I can tell you is to bring your own real estate agent with you on the very first visit before you even tour, because once you sign up and register, your agent will not be able to assist you. And I've done numerous videos why you need your agent on your side. 
I sell a lot of new construction homes in Summerlin. I am your new home sales expert. You can call me at 702-370-5112. That's what he said. But most importantly, show me some love and hit that like, like button. Oh, love button. Like. Oh, like button. Like. <laughs> and subscribe, <laughs> folks. Thanks. All right, one more model to tour, and we'll see you on the flip side.